Hey guys, Metric Motorcycle Madness here again today. So we've uh, we started on the rest of the bike. Um, today we uh, we're gonna show you how we took the exhaust off. Uh, and this is the full pipe here, muffler and exhaust. Very very easy to do, provided no one messed up anything. Uh, so we're looking up here into the exhaust flange coming into the engine. Uh, there's two bolts here and here match up with your, your flange here those sides are going to be Well They should be a 12 millimeter So with the first the, the top one you should be able to fit just fine in with a 12 millimeter socket with the bottom one because of the the bend and the pipe being so close to where you need to work um, you're probably going to have to use an elbow I suggest a smaller one than this uh, but this this will work at this length like this with adapters to be able to reach in there and pull that out now with this bike this is what your 12 millimeter it's uh, basically it looks like an acorn nut from the outside but it's actually a bolt dum dum mcgee before me stuck a uh, a half inch bolt in through there or at least the head is half inch uh, it appears either to be that uh, the bolt itself is still 12 millimeter or that the hole was retapped and I hope it wasn't because that that could right there be the cause of why these uh, this exhaust is, is leaking oil out of here could be another of, number of other reasons um, but that could be they weren't tight either when I took them out so that's what I'm guessing it was is that uh, they weren't tight at all and I'm not sure if there's actually a gasket in there like they're supposed to be so uh, so anyways once you take those two bolts off you come down here to where your uh, right foot peg is you have two acorn nuts like this that are gonna come off that are going to take your guard off, which is right here. Um, those are going to be a 17 millimeter. Use a socket for that too, or a wrench if you can reach there. Those two come off, and then you just got two more bolts at the back here. This is the mounting bracket that comes off the frame. Here you have, uh, I'll roll it to the other side here. Down here we have the, the bolts that come out. And those are also going to be acorn-style nuts. Well, no, actually, regular. There's also two washers that come off of there. That's also going to be 12 millimeter. So you really only need a 17 and a 12 millimeter socket and wrenches to be able to take the exhaust off. From these, you're going to unbolt them from the back. So just lay down and get underneath, and then pull that out. When you take it out, all you're going to do is pull out on the exhaust on this piece and then pull up on the back end we'll wiggle it out of your uh, your assembly over here uh, if you're just replacing the exhaust you're moving the exhaust and just leave this on since the brake cables are cast for now and you're just gonna put it back on um, so we're gonna diagnose what's going on uh, exactly that's causing engine oil to burn off out of the exhaust here in a later video, but this is how to take off your exhaust on the Suzuki Savage. Have a good one, guys.